Hi, this is Gary with MacMost.com. On today's episode, let's take a look at the new Spotlight Search in iOS 8. So to activate Spotlight Search, what you need to do is put your finger just above the middle of the screen and drag down slightly. Be careful not to go too high. If you go too high up here, you're going to bring down the Notification Center. It's just a short drag in the middle of the screen and it brings it up. Now one of the most useful things that you could do with Spotlight Search is to search for an app. So say you have tons of apps. You have several screens of them. You have app folders and you're going to use one you don't use every day and you can't remember where you put it. Well you don't need to remember. Just do that drag down to start Spotlight Search and then start typing the name of the app. And you can see it appears right there under Applications. It's usually the very first thing that appears there. And you can do that with any app name. And it'll get it as soon as it gets enough characters. And you can just tap on it right there to launch that app. Now Spotlight will search a lot more than just your apps. For instance, if I type this in here, I'm going to get some map locations nearby. So I instantly get the closest pizza places to me. I also get contacts. So I've got one pizza place in my contacts. Any music I've got that has that word in it. Any notes that I've got. Even any emails that have that word in it. Uh, it's going to do a search through all that. So there's a lot of different pieces of content that Spotlight searches through. To see exactly what Spotlight will show you, go into Settings and then under General look for Spotlight Search. And there you'll see a complete list of all the different things. So for instance there's Contacts, Music, Podcasts, all that stuff. Now if there's something you don't want to ever see, uh, say for instance you have a huge music collection and you're always getting the names of songs showing up in Spotlight Search and you, and you prefer just to search for music in the Music app, you can tap on that and turn it off and you'll no longer see results from music in there. Likewise with any of these other things here. Now you can also reorder things. Like for instance say if you're always using Spotlight to search for contacts then you can tap and drag on the three little bars on the right side right here. You tap and drag those up or down and you can change the order. So there's a lot you could do there to reorder things and then remove things that you don't want. Now the really big category is Spotlight Suggestions. This is a whole set of things that Spotlight Search will do for you. Let's take a look. So let's start typing a movie name. And I don't even have to complete typing. It's going to find it um, and it will show me uh, lots of information about the movie including showtimes at the theater closest to me. You can also just type the word movies and you'll get this entry at the top of what's playing in theaters now and you can tap that and it will bring up a screen where you can jump into individual movies. And you can select one and continue to get more information. Or you can use the back button at the upper left, go back and do more searches. Now let's say you enter the name of a movie that's available in iTunes. You can see that it comes up with a link right there uh, to either buy or rent it at iTunes. You could also start typing the name of an artist or group and it's going to bring up the artist on iTunes a link directly there and also then it will bring up from my music collection music I've got there. Notice also we've seen Wikipedia show up a few times. If you type in a subject you'll see a Wikipedia summary just a few lines there and you can jump right to that Wikipedia entry. And then of course there's also Bing search results for things like this as well. Another type of suggestion it will show you is for an app in the store. So you can see it gives me a direct link to the app store there. And in this case I typed in the exact name of an app. But you could also uh, sometimes see results for topics that you type in for app store suggestions there. You also get suggestions for locations. So start typing in a name and you'll see you get a maps entry at the top. You tap that and it takes you right to the maps app for that location. Now some of this functionality is merged into Safari, the suggestions part. So if you start typing say name of a movie you'll get that suggestion there at the top of Safari. Uh, if you start typing a topic you're going to get 
Wikipedia at the top. So you don't get all that other stuff like your apps, your music, your contacts, but you do get the Spotlight suggestions in Safari as well as in Spotlight Search.